So, I've got all those stitch lines in now. I ended in the center. And at this point in time, this is all I'm doing now. I'm not going to do anything else in that block other than I'm going to try I need to get to the outside edge someplace. Preferably in a corner. So the corner of this block and the corner here where they meet because I really want to stitch up and around and stitch the ditch in this. So it's just a treatment that I'm using on this quilt. I don't always do this. So, and I suppose probably out to the bottom is my best bet because then I can stitch up, up to that corner, back down to the side, and end here. So that block is completely ditched in. And then I can start the next row of blocks and what I'm doing in those. So I'm going to put you back up there to middle. We used the flex one ruler on that first design. So I'm going to go back to that same ruler to come down to this corner. So that means I have to have a fairly nice um, backtrack there to get to the outside. So we're just going to go real slow and try real hard to keep the stitches right on top of each other. And this is as meticulous as you are. A lot of mine are beside In fact, all of mine are beside each other, coming back down. So really, what all that did was make the line look heavier. So, I guess I'm okay with that look. If the stitches were right on top of each other, it'd still give you a heavier look. But this gives you a little bit wider look. So, I don't know. I'm not unhappy with it. The thread's fairly camouflage, so I mean, the camouflage means that it, it blends in fairly well. So I'm leaving it. So now I'm off to my bad to the bone straight line ruler. And when I'm ditching things, I normally ditch as I go. And I try to use the ruler on the side of the block that I really don't want the thread to show. So that means if I drop any stitches in that blue color, you're gonna see it really, really well. So, I'm gonna use the ruler on the side of the block that I don't want any thread in if I have a stitch that's out of place. So I'm gonna go up from corner to corner, trying to keep in the ditch the best I can but definitely staying out of the blue so if the stitches do fall not quite in the ditch like more beside the ditch then that thread is actually going into that block that we did all the arc work in So, just looking back at mine a little bit, let's see if I can zoom in a little. I'm not unhappy with that at all. So, zoom me back out. I'm going to go ahead and stitch up. To that second corner and I wasn't paying attention and didn't have the ruler on the right side so that there
that right there this is about a the width of a thread not quite in the ditch and up here I'm just touching the blue but because there's all these little speckles in this fabric I can probably get away with that as long as I don't drop any more in there so and I'm not super unhappy with that I'm not sure that it's worth pulling back those stitches I guess it depends on what you're working on I think for this I'll be okay some of you will pull it back and that's okay too I'm going to go ahead and continue up that ditch So, much better coming up that side that time. So I'm going to go ahead and pause you, finish the block, and then I'll be back.